Welcome to RPS Group of Schools Online Classes. Today, we will continue with our chapter Synthetic Fibers and Plastics. This is Session 2. In the previous class, we discussed the different types of fibers. Based on the origin or source, fibers can be classified as natural fibers and synthetic fibers. We also studied monomers and polymers in the previous session. Today, we will continue discussing polymers in detail. Polymers are formed by the process known as polymerization wherein the monomers combine to form a long chain. Polymers can be classified into different categories. We will study the classification of polymers based on the structure of the chain and based on the origin or source of monomers. Classification of polymers Based on the structure of monomer chain, polymers can be classified as linear polymer or cross-linked polymer. Based on the origin of monomers, polymers can be classified as natural polymers or synthetic polymers. Let us study them in detail. Linear Polymer Linear polymer is a long chain polymer formed when monomers combine in a linear fashion. A linear polymer consists of a single continuous chain of repeating units. Let us see some examples of linear polymers. Teflon, Nylon, Polythene, Polyester and PVC are few examples of linear polymers. Cross-linked polymer When monomers join in a cross-linked arrangement forming side chains, they form a cross-linked polymer as shown in the diagram above. Let us see some examples of cross-linked polymers. Bakelite and melamine are two examples of cross-linked polymers. Let us study the classification of polymers based on the origin of monomer. Natural polymer As the name suggests, Natural polymers are present naturally. Fibers like cotton, wool, jute and silk are made up of natural polymers. Examples include polysaccharides, proteins, cellulose, etc. Synthetic polymer Synthetic polymers are the polymers that are made from chemical substances in laboratories or factories. Examples of synthetic polymers include plastics, teflon, polystyrene. Now we will study some synthetic fibers in detail. They are rayon, nylon, polyester and acrylic. Rayon. Rayon is the first synthetic fiber. It was produced for the first time in France in 1880s. It is also called artificial silk and is a cheaper alternative to natural silk. It is a semi-synthetic fiber. 
It is obtained from cellulose which is extracted from wood pulp. It is called semi-synthetic fiber because cellulose which is a natural polymer undergoes various chemical treatments to form rayon. Now let us discuss some properties of rayon. Rayon fabric does not shrink. It is cool to wear. It drapes well. It can be easily dyed in a variety of colors. Let us see the advantages of using rayon fabric. It is cheaper to produce as compared to natural fibers. It can be easily mixed with other fibers to produce mixed fabric. Uses of rayon. It is widely used in textile industry for production of sarees, shirts and other kinds of dresses. It is widely used in carpet industries. It is also used for making bandages for wound dressing. Let us study another important synthetic fiber, nylon. Nylon is world's first fully synthetic fiber. It was developed by the US scientist Wallace H. Carothers and his associates. Its synthesis does not involve any natural raw material. In 1931, it was produced by using coal, air, water, and other agricultural byproducts. Let us study some properties of nylon. It has high tensile strength, that is, it is very strong. It is shiny, soft, smooth, and elastic fiber. It is lightweight and easy to wash. It absorbs less water. It dries quickly. It can be dyed in different colors easily. It is wrinkle free and easy to maintain. It does not require ironing. It is a long-lasting fabric. It is resistant to moths and fungi. Let us study some uses of nylon. Nylon is a very sin significant synthetic fiber. It is used for producing various articles used in day-to-day -day life such as jackets, track suits, socks, swimwear, raincoats, and curtains. Other uses of nylon include its use in production of bed sheets, ropes for mountaineering, parachutes, fishing nets, toothbrush, and car seat belts. Nylon is also used in racket strings, tires, umbrella, artificial grass mats and camping tents. Students, that was all for today's class. Thank you.